What's up guys, Scarlet here, hope you're having a good day. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Sony not learning from their previous mistakes, nothing new, and trying to force Venom into Spider-Man 4, and as well, a possible announcement that we might get for the movie Spider-Man 4. But first, if you're new to my channel, I usually cover Spider-Man scoops, rumors, leaks, confirmations for the games, movies, TV shows. I cover all of the above for the DCU, MCU, SSU as well, so if that's what you're interested in, this is your number one channel for that, so make sure to subscribe, turn notifications on to stay up to date with the latest news. Just keep in mind, anything that is not confirmed by official sources like Kevin Feige, a Sony executive, or sources involved with said projects are just rumors to take with a grain of salt. So let's talk about this Venom stuff first. This is coming from Spider Culture. This is a rumor, again, grain of salt, as this may or may not be true. Sony apparently is trying to force Venom into Spider-Man 4, but Marvel is saying no and holding their ground. Now first, before we continue, shout out to Marvel. They see the bigger picture, and Sony doesn't. Let's break this down. So Sony already did this in Spider-Man 3 back in 2007. How did they not learn from their mistake? Who fucking knows? Only God knows. If you didn't know, Venom was not supposed to be in Spider-Man 3. They made Sam Raimi put him in the movie when Sam Raimi admitted that he actually didn't like the character Venom, but Venom was forced into that film and critics and fans at first said this movie was a flop. Looking back on it now, it's really not the worst Spider-Man movie ever. It's still a fun watch, but there's too many plots in it that don't have enough room to breathe. Sony and Evie Arad and whoever else was a part of it at the time forced Venom into Spider-Man 3 to make more money and while it was the best movie financially at the time, the fans and critics didn't take the movie well at first and I guarantee if they let Sam Raimi do what he wanted to do like he did the first two films it would have made even more money than what they did when they forced the character in the film that wasn't originally meant to be in the film and again it's funny now that they're trying to do the same thing but Marvel seems to stand their ground again shout out to them so that they can do what will actually make a lot of money and as well make the fans happy best of both worlds pretty unheard of when it comes to Sony but by waiting for Secret Wars so that Peter can get the symbiote in that event because that's what happened in the comics and it would honestly be such a huge missed opportunity for them to not wait until secret wars for the symbiote storyline to begin and it's actually funny i ran a poll a little bit ago asking some of you guys actually where you wanted to see the symbiote storyline begin and some did actually say spider-man 4 or 5 and not secret wars i'm pretty sure most people pick secret wars because those people read the comics and i'm assuming at least the people who didn't pick secret wars haven't read the comics but i mean I, I don't know you know and like i'm not discriminating against anybody who didn't pick secret wars if you didn't choose secret wars that's fine you can have your opinion and i respect it but i don't see why uh you may have chose any other project for it to happen and you know what i mean like i don't understand why you didn't pick secret wars unless again like i said you maybe didn't read the comics and you know if that applies to you that's fine but marvel definitely does not want to put venom in spider-man 4 they're likely waiting for venom for like spider-man 5 or 6 after secret wars which i think is the best idea. Just think about it. Peter goes through Spider-Man 4, grounded personal story type of film, good story, hopefully all of that stuff. Then Secret Wars comes, he gets the symbiote, so that's something that they don't have to establish as much in Spider-Man 5 or 6, let's say. Probably Spider-Man 5 though. And let's face it, most people are gonna go are gonna go and watch Secret Wars because it, it, it's an Avengers film. Just like everybody watched Avengers Endgame and Infinity War, everyone's gonna watch that film. So I don't think it's a problem that they that they kind of like start that storyline in that movie then spider-man 5 can be him going against someone while he has a symbiote and set up why eddie hates peter or spider-man in that movie as a subplot or like a minor subplot whatever then by the end of spider-man 5 get rid of the symbiote post credit scene can be mcu eddie turning into venom and then spider-man 6 can be spidey versus venom at first maybe or something or maybe some other villains as well or maybe venom can form the sinister six and try to ruin peter's life i think something like that could go way better than venom and spider-man 4 or five the storyline needs to get built up through like a couple of projects it can't be all built up at one project that's what fucked it up the first time marvel probably wants to use scorpion or maybe kingpin or mr negative not these big scale villains for spider-man 4 sony does also need to learn their lesson i don't know how they haven't learned it already i'm doing a deeper dive with andrew garfield and sony in a couple days so be on the lookout for that or i might have already put it out but like i said be on the lookout for that but let's move on to the next half of the video where we talk about this screenshot this is some release dates for films and there's one by sony that has 
not been announced yet and people might think it's spider-man 4. now the release date for spider-man 4 has been talked about it's apparently either 2024 or 2025. they did finish the script i think for spider-man 4. no they have the, they finished the story but they need to make the script i think but as well tom holland was reportedly recently at a stunt studio doing who knows what but he also as well reportedly signed his new contract to play spider-man as well now on the other hand this could be madam web or venom 3 possibly but venom usually comes out in october so this july date doesn't make sense for venom so i feel like that's eliminated off the list of possible choices for what this movie could be the way that i'm looking at it at least like like unless i'm reading it wrong is it does say sony marvel universe movie i don't know if that means like untitled sony owned movie set in the marvel universe that's how i'm look how i'm reading it at least or if it means like sony's marvel spider-man universe with like venom morbius etc context is what really matters here and what can help us determine what film this date is for because if it's in the mcu it's obviously spider-man and if it isn't in the mcu then it's kind of a guessing game it could be craven madam web or whatever else they have going on in there and i'm going to pass it on to you guys what do you guys think of these rumors for spider-man 4 make sure to comment your opinion down below so i can discuss all of that with you with that being said thank you for taking time out your day to click on this video you know what's crazy 93 percent of you come back to my videos and are not subscribed pretty crazy right if you are a part of that 93 percent and enjoy my content it would make a lot of sense for you to hit the subscribe button down there to keep up to date leave a like if you enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want more of this type of content don't forget to check out my latest video on the left or on the right hand side a video or playlist picked for you by youtube's algorithm you guys have a good day hope you enjoyed the video until next time